Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Jordan here and welcome back to a new video. Today we're looking at the Razer Barracuda X multi-device gaming headset. This headset is designed for those of you that have a few different devices and are looking for an all-in-one solution that you can use across multiple platforms rather than having to have a different headset for each device. So let's cover the main features and then we'll get into the box. Barracuda X is a wireless headset that's compatible with PC, PlayStation, Switch and Android. You can also use it wired with those platforms as well as wired support with Xbox by simply connecting to the controller's 3.5mm jack. The wireless is done with a USB-C receiver so you can plug straight into Android devices and the Switch and also into a PC if you have a free USB-C port but I'll talk more on that later as there are a few caveats with it. So Reza are using their Triforce 40mm drivers with the Barracuda X. This offers a frequency response from 20 to 20 kHz, a removable hyperclear cardioid microphone, 20 hour battery life and flow knit memory foam ear pads for extra comfort. I'll cover some other little details as we go throughout the video, but let's get inside the box. You'll find instructions, Razer stickers, USB-C adapter, USB-C to USB-A cable, USB-A to USB-C cable for charging, 3.5mm audio cable and finally a removable microphone. Onto the Barracuda X and Razer have opted for a more minimal design in this headset. Given that this headset works with a range of devices there's more of a likelihood of taking this out and about so there's less of the gamer style aesthetic that we usually see. There's no RGB on this headset either so you won't stand out like a sore thumb in a dim lit room but that also helps with the battery as RGB often knocks a few hours off. The headset's an all black design minus the mute indicators which I'll show you in a minute and it's all matte black minus the gloss Razer logos. Those of you that have seen my reviews before know that I'm a matte black fiend so colour wise a thumbs up from me. Looking at the headband we've got incremental adjustments to find a fit for you. It's got some nice padding on there too. The ear cups have rotation and pivot which is great especially being a glasses wearer as often find that I need a little bit more adjustment to get it comfortable. The ear pads are lovely and soft with the flow net memory foam. Very comfortable especially when wearing glasses. These can actually be removed for washing too. They've got a stretching material and the inner side that you pull over the frame. I've taken off ear pads of this style before and they can be tricky to put back on so I recommend you leave them be unless you're actually planning to wash them. On the bottom and the left ear cup is all of the headset's controls and ins and outs. First is the mute button that gives a tactile press when enabled. Next we have the volume scroll wheel. This is a smooth scroll without any tactile feedback. Then we have the power button and power LED. Following that is the 3.5mm port for Xbox and wide use. USB-C port for charging and then the port for the removable microphone. The mic can only go in one way so there's no chance of speaking into the wrong side. It's very flexible too so you can easily position it to your mouth. And before we move on let's have a listen to how the mic sounds. So here's a sound sample of the microphone that's on the Barracuda X. As a heads up if you're using this on PC you need to turn up the microphone settings in Windows. It currently goes to a default of 75% which is obviously not 100 so make sure you change that settings if you're using it on a PC. Not too bad quality to be fair and it does seem a little bit quieter out of the box so you may find that during group chats you might need to adjust your microphone to match other people but once you're set then it's not too bad at all. Again I mentioned this in pretty much every headset review but if you're looking to live stream at least be it semi-professionally then get yourself a desktop microphone as the quality is day and night different and will be much more pleasing to your viewers ears. Going back to the LED indicator this will light up blue and flash upon powering on and stay a static blue once connected to the receiver. It also shows green while charging. Wearing the headset is comfortable especially with longer use. The combination of the memory foam ear pads and the fact the headset only weighs 260 grams makes for a very good pairing. I don't find an overly strong clamping force either which is very important to me being a glasses wearer as the arms can often dig into the side of my head. Although the clamping force is lower it still does have good passive noise isolation. While taking this off briefly to talk to other people or to do something else they have a swivel but it goes outwards, meaning the plastic sits on your neck and upper chest rather than the foam side down which I feel will be a lot more comfortable. It's only a little thing but if you're putting the headset on and off often it's not the best. So this headset doesn't make any use of synapse but this part where I'd usually show you the software features is just blank. The only thing you can do in terms of adjustments is using THX Spatial Audio but that's a $20 or £20 edition so instead we'll be going straight to the conclusion. Given there's no software and this is designed for multiple platforms it's got a static EQ. There are no custom EQ options which for some could make this a deal breaker and personally for me where I can I usually add a little bit more bass, a little bit more high end. Thankfully I'm pleased to say the default EQ is very good. The bass is tight with a good depth and playing Battlefield 5 is a pleasing experience with rich deep explosions as a tiger unloads its shells at me. 
Mids and highs sound great, clear with great clarity. I was especially pleased with the high end and although I'd usually add a little bit extra EQ if I were able to, I don't feel it needs it here. It's not overly sharp too, so you won't wince with certain frequencies. In terms of soundstage, you can tell different sounds and layers apart, which means it's great to hear enemy footsteps. And in addition to that, voices in game or voice chat all sound good too. The functions on the left ear cup are simple and easy to use with just searching by your hand. And I'm a real fan of the more minimal design. You can expect a good battery life with myself using it over weekdays at work for about three hours a day before needing a recharge. Now at the start of the video I mentioned the caveats of the USB-C adapter. When you use this on an Android phone or the Switch it sits flush, but if you're planning to use this on a PC with the adapter then you might find that it covers up neighbouring USB ports. So I'd really recommend you just use the USB-C to USB-A adapter. Plus, given that most motherboards generally only have one or two USB-C headers, it's a little bit of a waste of a port but you can use it for devices that require a higher throughput. If one of the devices you primarily use is an Xbox, then there are other solutions you can look at which will give you the wireless freedom rather than being tethered to the controller if you go with this. But given the Barracuda X is designed to work with lots of devices, there is usually some sort of sacrifice. And for this one, it's the lack of wireless support with Xbox. Overall, if you have multiple devices and you want an all-in-one solution, the Barracuda X is a great choice. At the time of recording, you could pick it up on Amazon for $72.99, which I don't think is bad at all. Of course, if you have any more questions or there's something that I haven't covered, feel free to post down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll put links to the Barracuda X down in the description box if you fancy picking up a pair. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to Razor for sending these for me to review. And I'll see you all in the next video.